what's up friends welcome back to another video my name is nick if you guys don't know me if you do that's incredible as well today we're making breakfast casserole it happens to be one of my favorite recipes on the planet it is so easy to make and i want to show you guys right now why this deliciousness deserves to be your new weekend staple so you're going to need eggs english muffin that's the key here milk sausage bacon red onion jalapenos i forgot cheese i can't believe i forgot cheese we're gonna need cheese and quite a bit of it olive oil and then salt and pepper start by slicing your jalapenos lengthwise and then we're just gonna get rid of the seeds and kind of gut them so they're not so hot they scorch your face off and then slice each one kind of two or three times and then we're just gonna chop them up until they're pretty much diced and then we're just gonna put those in a bowl and save them for later. Next up is your onion. Get out of here, jalapeno stem. Slice right down the middle of the root, just like that, and then peel the first layer of the onion. And then what I like to do here is slice one horizontal slice right down the middle of it, almost all the way to the root. And then same thing here, just do vertical slices until you're basically at the end of the root, and then just dice. You're ready to rock and roll. You got nice fine pieces there. Throw that in with the jalapenos. We're gonna save that for later. These are Green Ridge Farm sausages, uh, not sponsored. I just happened to do a lot of work for them, so I had them laying around. You can use Italian sausage, you can use breakfast sausage. You can pretty much use whatever you want here. I just kind of roughly chopped them here, one slice down the middle, and then I chopped them all up. Do the same with your bacon. We're just gonna roughly chop that. I used about three or four pieces here. And then once you're done with that, just throw that in a bowl. We're gonna save it for later and do some sauteing here in a bit, but let's cut up some more English muffins because we haven't cut enough certainly already. Split these suckers in half. I did four to six cuts per English muffin, but keep it rough and then uh, toss them all in a bowl and we're gonna save them for later. Right, next up, grab your induction burner, your stove top, your candle with a match and set it to low heat. Sprinkle about a teaspoon of olive oil on the pan and then throw in your meat. We're gonna brown everything till it's nice, has a ton of color. The bacon's not completely cooked to a crisp, but it is cooked pretty much all the way through. It is gonna continue cooking just a tiny bit in the casserole. I would say do this for about six to 10 minutes, just depending on where you're at. And then the last couple minutes, throw your veggies in there, the red onions and jalapenos. That way everything will kind of soften. It'll still retain a lot of its flavor and everything will get mixed together really nicely. So when we build the casserole, you don't really have to do any mixing. It's just already done. Do a flip if you're feeling risky. Swap out that induction burner for a nine by 13 pan and sprinkle a little bit of olive oil into the pan. I would say no more than a tablespoon and then rub that around with your hand. And what this does is it prevents our breakfast casserole sticking from the side when we go ahead and bake it in the oven. Then you're gonna follow that with your English muffin breadcrumbs, about half of them. Spread them evenly all across the bottom. And you're gonna follow that with our sausage and veggie mixture and spoon that around so everything is evenly distributed. Now my favorite part, the cheese. Sprinkle about three quarters of a cup of cheese pretty much everywhere. Follow that with the rest of the English muffin, the rest of the sausage mixture, and then we're gonna put another three quarter cup of cheese or so on the very top. And then onto the eggs. We need an egg mixture to kind of soak up those English muffin crumbs. We're gonna use eight eggs and then a cup and a half of milk. Man, I wish I could really go this fast. I would save so much time in the kitchen. And then dump your milk in there and then we're gonna whisk everything together until fully combined. Man, I totally feel like Inspector Gadget here. My bad, I forgot the salt and pepper. We're gonna salt and pepper our eggs and continue whisking a little bit. And then we're gonna Niagara Falls these eggs right on top of our breakfast casserole. Allow the egg to kind of soak in the English muffin. And then what I like to do is just sprinkle a little bit of crushed red pepper on top for a little extra heat, a little more flavor. This is probably the saddest part, but also the most necessary. You're gonna wrap it and refrigerate it for at least one hour. I did mine overnight. Um, it turns out perfect either way. I've never done it to where you can just like bake it right away. 
but then once it's refrigerated for at the very least one hour we're gonna bake it at 350 for anywhere from 40 to 45 minutes mine went 42 and look at how beautiful this is the color on it is amazing i'm so happy with how it turned out i can't wait to dive into this thing it's perfect and what I like to do is just check the middle of it, making sure that toothpick comes out clean. If it is gooey in there, just throw it in for another five minutes at 350. Let's just get into it. I am so ready for this thing right now. Look, look at the steam coming off of it. Look at all the color. I'm, uh, this is totally worth burning my mouth for, every bit of it. Oh my God, all the flavors, everything is so money. The texture, the crispiness, the softness of it. And if you are the type of person who likes sweet and savory together in the same dish, I highly recommend putting syrup on this. It is killer. I want you to try this recipe out and I want you to tell me how it went for you. It is truly amazing. It's a masterpiece, but it's also so easy to put together. Your weekend's just got better. Comment, let me know either on my Instagram or YouTube. I wanna hear your thoughts. I wanna see if you guys like it. And of course, I wanna see if you like the sweet and savory combo. That's it for me, I'm out guys. Stay tuned for the next recipe. Bye-bye.